Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Align Plans. So today, in today's video, we're going to be planning in my Hobonichi weeks for the week of April the 3rd all the way up to the 9th. Um, I'm just based on how much noise is around me at the present moment, I think that we're just gonna put on some music. So grab your beverage, grab your planner, and why don't we just kind of get started. Um, as far as supplies are concerned, I'm going to be using my Kaweco Sport. Um, I haven't decided which one, <laughs> they're both fine. They're both in the fine tip. And anything and everything that I'm using, if I find links for it, I will just leave the link in the description so that you guys can check that out. And if you are brand new here, well, thanks for coming by. My name is Meshi and I am the person behind Online Plans. We talk at least a couple of times a week on this channel and we talk about anything and everything minimalist and functional planning. So if that sounds good and that's your jam, then you should subscribe. And I promise that by the time we're putting on the voiceover, I will adjust the lighting. There's just an excessive amount of sunshine that's coming through. So we will do our best to adjust the lighting but for the time being, just enjoy this beautiful sunshine. I know it's like very aesthetic, very aesthetic vibes right now. But let me just put some music on so that you can enjoy. And let's get started with the planning. Welcome to our first official week of April. I'm very much feeling like spring is in the air, spring is coming, and you know, just things just feel a little bit lighter. Okay, here are some of the supplies that I'm going to be using. Here's a th thin little fine tip pen. This was actually in a sub box from, from cloth and paper back in the day. This one is pink. I also have it in like this light gray. So we're just setting up our grid as we speak. And the only other thing that I'm going to be using is the little tweezers to kind of help with putting down stickers and whatnot. So now that we have our grid kind of drawn on the left-hand side, I'm going to be using this mustard color Kueco Sport. I have both of them and it's actually kind of funny because the ink that I have loaded in the Kueco Sport kind of matches the, the color of the pen. Nor here, nor there, but the categories that I'm going to be setting up is priorities, uh, inbox, tracker, and next week. So that's what you're kind of seeing me set up right now. So I think my main focus for this week is very much going to revolve around just kind of trying to get as much done as possible on the clinic end so that, you know, we can kind of move into the long weekend with a little bit more ease. I find that whenever we have like holidays and things like that, and we are kind of closed on certain days, I don't know if you feel that way, but it just feels like very much just feels like the week is shorter, which means that there's an expectation of just getting so much more done in a shorter amount of time. I'm also kind of covering for someone who is sick on Monday. So that kind of shortens up my time available for what I can spend on both filming, creating, uploading, all the things. So it definitely becomes more of a juggling act than anything else. Here, I'm just kind of outlining my category. So right now you're just kind of seeing me right over and all of that. Right now we're just gonna do a little bit of a change in, in camera angle so you can see a little bit better. Moving on to the left-hand side of the page, I don't really change too many things here. I generally write in both my schedule and then the priorities for that given day, something that I really don't want to kind of forget. And then after that, I kind of go in and start decorating everything and kind of just fill in the gaps where I see it fit. I don't really, I don't know, I try my best not to overcomplicate this because even though you can cram a lot of information there, I kind of like it when I'm keeping my day-to-day -day stuff very minimal, especially when it comes to the clinic and my actual physical job that I do every day. There isn't too much for me to be reminded about. So, but then there's sometimes there are things that sort of come up that I really, really want to remember. So here I'm just grabbing my stencil, going back onto the right-hand side, and we're just kind of using the stencil to write in the top three priorities. I've been really loving these stencils from Hobonichi. It has been one of the most useful tools. If you haven't picked it up, I would highly recommend it. It's one of the most useful things that you will probably use in your Hobo weeks. And here we are kind of zoomed out. Again, we're kind of playing around with making sure that you guys can actually see everything, given that we have an excessive amount of sunshine. I'm not mad. 
<laughs> but I'm trying to make sure that you guys can actually see everything. Now for trackers, I'm kind of keeping it pretty consistent. I've been tracking reading, illustration, working out and journaling. I have to be honest, I haven't really been able to kind of keep up with illustrations as much. Journaling, I have shifted it actually to the morning. I think this is where I have like this love-hate relationship with writing and drawing out trackers because then it makes you painfully aware of the things that you're not doing. My plan for, for workouts, and I mean I will share this with you guys more on, um, on the vlog section, but basically I'm completely doing a full switch up for spring. We are definitely revamping all of our workout routines and how, like what we're focusing on. I don't know, I think that like when the weather becomes a little bit warmer, I think it's very important that you kind of make some changes so that you not only adjust to the weather, but you adjust also to the plan that will kind of keep you more motivated and more challenged, all the things. Okay, here is a little close-up of the washi. I, oh, I absolutely love this floral washi. I picked this up a little while ago from Paper Plus Cloth. If I find out the name or the designer's name, I will just leave the link to them down in the description. But this is by far one of my favorites. It's very delicate, it's very floral, but it doesn't feel like it's like vintage floral. It just feels like it's very spring appropriate. I'm just going to kind of trim the top just a little bit and then we're moving on. Moving on to decor, I have that full sticker sheet. I believe this is actually a Sticky Club uh, sticker sheet. We picked it up from, I believe, Wonder Pens like a little while ago. It's either Wonder Pens or Paper Plus Cloth. I honestly can't remember. And then here, this is the press-on sticker that I also bought from Paper Plus Cloth. I actually have the full roll of the same girl. It's super cute. And sometimes I honestly, I just prefer the press-on stickers. They just, they just kind of do it for me. Honestly, if you're looking to not bulk up your planner, these press-on stickers are just the, absolutely the way to go. And here we are with some dots. We are going in with the purples, with the light pinks. So we have like some lilac, some, some off-white. I love this. I love this full, like if I could buy every single color, I absolutely would because it doesn't feel, it feels minimal and it still adds a little pop of color and it ends up kind of matching, somewhat matching the washi tape. So altogether, it just kind of pulls that spring feeling, that lighthearted, you know, fresh floral feel to the entire spread. Enough rambling about florals and <laughs> the color coordinating. Um, we're, we're pretty much coming up to a close in a moment. Um, you will see in the next segment that I'm also adding in the word of the week and I'm going to spoil it for you. Oh my goodness. First of all, um, I'm going to spoil it for you because I just realized right now as I'm editing this that I didn't spell spring correctly. There you go. I put in spring, whatever. It's okay. I know that it means spring. Basically, the word of the week or the phrase of the week for this week is going to be spring reset. And I'm incapable of spelling correctly. So there you go. I hope that you have yourself a little chuckle along with your coffee. Um, we're adding a couple of little um, emojis from Coffee Monster Scroll. It doesn't quite match the vibe, but I wanted to add at least a little bit of something, something. I also have like small little icons from Midori. I absolutely adore this. If you get a chance to pick these up, I would highly recommend it. These ones are like these purple little dogs. They're super, super cute, but like look how minimal it looks. It was actually originally intended for a monthly spread that you can use in your traveler's notebook, but I end up using it here quite often in my hobo weeks because it's tiny like the icons are significantly smaller than my coffee monster skull so that's just a preference thing um we're going to add some decor of that vintage like cleaning we're moving into like spring cleaning and resetting everything so that's sort of the vibe that i'm going for with decor and as i said the word of the week is going to be spring reset so please don't mind that I forgot to add an R. It's okay, we're human. We, we all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. 
for the letters you can get the the actual stencil also from Midori it's fantastic and I usually outline it with a pencil and then I kind of go over it with my pen and just kind of fill it in and even that in and of itself especially if you're using a fountain pen adds like this nice base color for your spreads which I really really love so if you haven't tried it I would highly recommend that you use this left hand side of the right hand side page column to just I don't know add something fun add a decor it just adds such a nice little element to the entire weekly spread i can't believe i misspelled that word this is like the funniest thing anyway we are coming to a close i wanted to thank you guys so much for joining me i hope that you have enjoyed this video if you did <laughs> you can overlook the spelling mistakes then you can give it a thumbs up you can subscribe you can do all the things if you wanted to support me personally, you can also hunt me down on Patreon. We are planning on doing, my hope is that we're going to move into sending out more happy mail more than anything else, but I give you early access, um, voting opportunities to kind of let me know what you want to see next on this channel. So if that at all interests you, please come and find me on Patreon. I would love to have you in the community. But nevertheless, even just you being here, hanging out with me, spending your time means absolutely the world to me. Here is a close up our like the overall spread of how everything looks. And I hope that you have enjoyed this and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye.